Houston's police chief is offering a stark prediction about the case of a missing four-year-old girl. He says he believes Malia Davis has been murdered and he believes her mother's former fiance is responsible. The chief there also says Darian Vince knows where Davis's body is and that he's not telling police. Davis has been missing for three weeks. Vince is being held for allegedly tampering with evidence. The chief there in Houston also is asking for the public's help to find Davis's remains. Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again, did you with a video. Now this video is like a update, but more of a clarification video due to some new things I heard, some new revelations I heard. And the story I'm talking about is the four-year-old missing girl, Malia Davis case, and the suspicious activity that is surrounding this case. Now I want to send first a big shout out to everybody in the great state of Texas, everybody in the city of Houston, all my people in Sugarland, all my people all over the Houston metro area. But you know, it's been a lot of speculation going on about this missing four-year-old girl, Malia Davis. Now, it's a lot of stuff that has been left out. A lot of stuff was brought to my attention. So this is going to probably, you know, make a few people mad. But the truth must be told because where there is smoke, there is surely a fire brewing sooner or later. Now, recently, Darian Vince's dad, Mr. Joe Vince, that's his name, I think, uh, came out and did an interview with another YouTuber and also uh, spoke to the news station. And what he said, basically, that his son is innocent and his son just basically helping out. He really loved these kids. He loved Malia, you know, and the dad was basically saying that Brittany Bowens, Malia Davis' mom, was not right for him. But why would the dad say that? He didn't go into clarification why he would say that. But it was also brought to my attention that as recently as 2015 that uh, Malia Davis' mom, Brittany Bowens, was on the news for somebody paying off her layaway. That was kind of suspicious also. But, you know, you have some people doing good deeds for people around holiday times. But she was ask asking for somebody to pay her layaway off. And somebody basically paid her layaway off so her kids can get toys. But also what's being kept on the wraps is the fact that the uh, uh, Texas Department of Children and Family Services, CPS, uh, are withholding information regarding um, Malia abuse. Now, you all know recently, and, and not only from me because we don't speculate, but from other news sources that Malia Davis has suffered uh, fractured squalls and everything. She has been badly abused. And also, you can see the pictures that I have put up and other YouTubers have put up and also all over social media where this child was being swole. So back to what the dad said, because you have to compare things. And it's kind of strange that they will release this information saying over the Memorial Day weekend, because they know a lot of people not paying to the news. A lot of people are traveling, uh, having cookouts, having fun, you know, and not really paying attention to what's going on in the news. That's how they slip things in there right before a holiday or right after the holiday or right after some kind of, you know, national event. But the news basically come out and said yesterday that Malia Davis missing four-year-old girl was likely killed. Like she's most likely dead now. So they gave up hope of finding this child. But a lot of things is circumspect as far as this situation with this child. Now the dad is basically backing up his son, just like a parent will. But when your son is wrong or when the when your daughter's wrong, they're wrong. And to me, they're both just as guilty. But what makes it so funny and what makes it so sad, because it's not funny, but I use that as just a, a, a figure of speech, is the fact that if your son was with Brittany Bowens for the last three and a half, four years, then he will have witnessed all the abuse being taken place on a Malia. So who was the one beating Malia? How did Malia fall, so they say, and cracked her skull, and they had to have half of her skull removed almost. How did she sustain all these injuries? How did she keep going back to the doctor and Brittany not even telling these people the truth? So therefore, it shows that she is not credible. She is not trustworthy. And then she came out with Cornell X. Now, I spoke highly of Cornell X, and that's before some other things were brought to my mind. And also, before his own people, the uh, the new Black Panther Party, um, spoke out against him also. And I'm not sure if uh, Dr. Khaled Muhammad, you, you all know Khaled, and may he rest in peace. Khaled Muhammad, one of the realest guys I've ever seen next to Malcolm X. Uh, I don't know if he was a part of the new Black Panther Party, but you all can let me know. But anyway, uh, so that's why I first seen Quinnell, uh not at, but in pictures of with him surrounded with, uh, with Khaled Muhammad. And you all can go check those pictures out also because for, for you all that don't know, Khaled Muhammad went, to Rice University in Houston. But anyway, back to the story. So Cornell X basically pops up on the scene and I'm wondering why did she go get Cornell X? Just like a lot of other people when it got brought to Cornell X because I guess she must have thought that he was a lawyer but he is a figure in Houston. 
But, you know what I'm saying, due to some other allegations that's going on of him allegedly robbing people out of money, not with a gun, but basically at, uh, telling them he would provide them a service and not following through. Like he had one woman basically believe that she that he could help her get her child back. They were going through some kind of custody of stuff with the uh, CPS and stuff. I think her child had got taken or something, and he was allegedly supposed to help this woman get her money back, but he was charging this woman like seven thousand some dollars and he kept charging her. And it wasn't the only person. It was like multiple people that's happened to him to the point that the new Black Panther Party, I forgot the chairman name, but you all can find it though. Well I'll, I'll look it up and leave the link in the description so you all can see. He spoke out against Cornell himself. So therefore nobody involved in this case is credible. You know, so we have to keep that in mind because if you for the community, how can you be scamming the people and ask telling them to you're gonna provide a service? When you don't even provide said service and you're basically taking all these people money, people having to chase you around, they'll give them money. You know what I'm saying? Like one girl, like not one girl, one woman, you know, she was basically asking him to help get her brother out of prison. And he promised the girl uh, daughter. I mean, he promised his daughter that he would help get her dad out of prison and the, da and the dad is still in prison to this day. And they paid so much money. He never really did anything. And this is not speculation. This is facts because they got videos up at the news station and they also got the new Black Panther Party chairman uh, basically speaking on this matter. So they basically called him out. So when I first seen him standing next to Brittany Bowens, Malia Davis' mom, and basically came out his mouth and said that the reason why she wanted to break it off and the reason why he did this was because that she called him allegedly sending new pictures, new images to another man of his penis. And I found that ironic that the fact they would use the old stereotype, uh, stereotypical phrase like, you know, black man down low, black man gay. Funny how they would throw that in there also. So when I first heard that, I'm like, oh, well, okay, I see what else going on. But then also the fact that the time of death of her dad, since she said she flew out of Houston and went to Massachusetts to her dad's funeral when her, when her dad died in early April. So I found that ironic also. And also the departure times and, you know, the arrival times of said flight. So did she go there and fly right back? A lot of people saying that also. So you have people saying that this guy, Darian, is a soul killer, that it was nobody else involved. Brittany is totally, totally innocent and that she was just a mom who was traumatized when it looks like basically Brittany was the one really doing this to her child and Darren just was right there for the ride because I guess she promised him all kind of fame, fortunes, and riches. And also the dad said that Brittany wanted to get a lifetime movie out of this, just like a few other situations. And this story, you know, it's so ironic, but it's not hard to believe. It's just like in similar situations because you all have to look through things through a different lens, even though, you know, uh, you can't say everything, but you can pretty much point people in the right direction so they can really see. It's like the story that happened in Chicago with Jennifer Hudson family when her family got uh, found dead. And they blame, I think it was the nephew, the nephew or the cousin. And the cousin and the, and the nephew, or whoever it was that did, I don't know if he was a nephew or the cousin, he was one of them. He was basically saying, I didn't do it. I'm innocent. And they still got him in jail. But, you know, Jennifer uh, Hudson go on to Hollywood, movies or whatever. I'm not saying she's involved. But it's strange that they would blame him. And he's like, basically, I don't know what's going on. So you had the same situation kind of in another instance with Darren Vince. Now, the dad was basically taken up for his son, just like most parents will. And I didn't find it ironic. What I found ironic is the fact if you were such a good person, how would you be with a person that's beating their child, whether you was the one doing it or not? But if said if you was innocent and the mom was doing it, how can you consider yourself a good person and you watching this child get her brain fracture. How can you be a good person when you're watching this child face all swollen up, in and out the hospital, the mom lying to the doctors? If you was a good person, you would stood up for the for the child, right? So I found that ironic. And then the fact that Brittany admitted out her own mouth out the picture that everybody was saying that he snuck the baby back in the house. If you look at the picture, Darren is way in front of Malia Davis. Malia Davis is way behind Darren. That's not sneak, sneak. It's not like he had a blanket over her. Not like he had an arm. Not like he had a shirt or a jacket over her. She was like five, six feet behind him. And she looked at kind of destroyed her like her fist was balled up. And the mom even said herself in text messages that she was inside the house and she did not know that he, he allegedly snuck her baby back in. But she was inside the house. So how can somebody sneak your baby in the house when you're supposed to be gone that day or just leaving that day so why are you still at the house and this is not my words because we don't speculate we speak nothing but fact fact facts so you in a in a house and you admit it so how did the sneaking occur 
Where were you at? Then all of a sudden you take a flight. But if he was so abusive to Malia and he was doing all this and they try to say that he may have sexually molested this little, this little girl, why would you leave your child with said predator and fly way halfway across the country to Massachusetts? Wouldn't you bring your child with you or wouldn't you tell the biological dad to come get Malia? No. So it sounds like this was basically a setup and it sounds like he's being taken as the fall guy, even though I'm not saying that he's innocent because he's not. He is guilty just like the mom is guilty. But it's sad that they would have the guy in jail while the mom is out here. And then she recently went to the courthouse and they pretty much ran her out the courthouse. They booed her ass and everything and called her out because guess what? You can't fool the people all the time. We don't care who you get to stand beside you. The people are not stupid. And then the fact that you will get the person standing beside you who is have scammed people, and these people are saying this themselves. This is not me because I did not want to say this, but I can't lie to the people. You feel me? Because they sent me that and trusted me to deliver that to you all. Because if they sit up here showing me that this person did this, and this person saying Darian did that, or he was allegedly involved in this, well, how can we be uh, unbiased? How can we be neutral? And how can we be right if we withholding that information? So that's why I said that about Cornell X, and it wasn't me. I basically re relaying the message of what's been said. So nobody in this situation is credible. Not Texas Department of Children and Family Services, not the Houston Police Department, not Darian, not the dad, not the mom, and not Cornell. Also, everybody in this situation is corrupt. Not so much as the dad, but the fact that the dad would want to take up for the son when the son has witnessed, even though just say if he did do it. But how can you be a good person if you're sitting there watching a child get beat? Think about that. Do that make any sense whether you're doing it or not? But the fact if you don't do it, could you sit there and watch a baby get beat up and consider yourself still a good person? No. So I don't know what world these people are living in. But, you know, I pray to God that they hurry up and find this child. But I just had to hit you all with this update because it's ironic that they released, released this information that Malia Davis is most likely may, I mean, dead. And the fact they are looking for a corpse now and the fact that they will also arrest Darren and charge him with tampering with a corpse when a corpse is a dead person. So why won't the mother be charged? Why isn't the mom charged? And then for the mom to sit up here and speculate like she's going to get a lifetime movie, which I believe because everything else lines up to that. And why have CPS, Children Protective Services, withholding information regarding abuse, regarding neglect? Because that's a clear sign of neglect. No way your child will sit up here and get hurt and you go to the doctor and lie about it. And this is all medical records because I don't have to lie on these people. Matter of fact, I didn't want to even have to even do an update video. But due to the fact that they will slide this information up under the radar doing Memorial Day weekend, knowing people are busy and really not focused on what's really going on because people are so fickle, you know, they forget really what's important. You know, not saying that you're supposed to pay attention to said things, but, you know, we are human. We tend to forget. Our minds quick to jump on something else, you know. So it's good we have said people around that's trying to find closure for this child. And also, big shout out to the other YouTuber that have got the news station to pick up, even though they didn't include certain footage, even though they're not going to mess with saying certain people who do uh, videos and stuff, because those people have a stronger opinion, not saying that this guy does not have a great opinion, a great platform, because he does. But, you know, Everybody's not going to mess with certain people due to the fact you may be the one who set it off just like I will. But we have to take that into consideration. The fact that they will sit up here and say this, man, I'm not paying Darian Vince, the stepdad. Even so some people say he wasn't the stepdad. How in the hell he wasn't the stepdad if they got a child together? How the hell that he ain't the stepdad if they were staying together and this woman already had other children? How he's not the stepdad? What is a stepdad then? Tell me that then. I mean, come on. So people say, well, he was just a family friend. He was a boyfriend. No, it was a stepdad. That, that was a stepdad because they already have a child together, period. Now, so we must take that in consideration. The fact that you would have a guy here who's scamming people out of money, brother Cornell X, and they have made videos about it. And the fact that, you know, saying you can easily buy his services because, you know, people take, tend to take him more credible, which I did. But when I seen that video, it didn't affect his own people speaking out against him and calling him out. It's only right that I would share that information also because then I will be biased and then I will be lying. But, you know, we cannot sit up here and forget the main thing that she said Darian was a great 
stepdad to her children, that he stepped in and basically saved her life. Then all of a sudden later on, you feel the pressure when people start doing videos, me, myself, and I, and other bloggers included in, in news outlets and media sources. You would then say that he was a bad person, that he is gay. He, he got caught sending men pictures, and he was so mad that you was going to dump him, that he would kill your daughter. No way in hell. And if he wanted, just say hypothetically speaking, if it was true, if he sent a man his, his a penis picture, guess what? He would go be with said man, regardless of how we feel about that lifestyle. That's not worth killing no child over. It sounds like to me that Brittany is the main antagonist and Darius is just a co-conspirator. And he done got himself caught up in his web of mess. And we can't sit up here and let this go. Because the fact that you will sit up here and do this to a four-year-old child, the state of Texas will cover it up. And then the news station ain't really getting into that of the fact why CPS withholding these records. Those records are the key. But what good mom, before I go, because I don't want to make the video long. I'll just try and talk sense to you. What good mom would sit there? And how can you call yourself good if you know your child is being hurt and you're the one doing the hurt or just say if you're not the one doing the hurt, just say if it was Darren doing the hurt and you still allow it. You don't call the police and Texas police do not play about children. You feel me? Even though they slacking lately, you know what I'm saying? We losing ground in Texas. You feel me? We've been taking L's lately, but this shit must be talked about. And just because you go get a, a so-called community activist, you see what I'm saying? He's not a lawyer. Just because you go get somebody that's an activist, you know what I'm saying? They had their picture on TV here and there, a little show here and there you know, and was once respected by his fellow peers does not mean that we're going to take his word and be silent because guess what? You have to be right also in this situation. And just because the dad spoke for the son does not mean that makes his son a good person because no good man or no good woman going to sit there and witness nobody else beating a child, no matter if it's a stranger, more or less than somebody you with and more or less somebody you have a child with. Because if you watch somebody beating a child they have, and you have a child by them, would it be too hard to believe that they would one day beat your child? So that's not even compatible. So the hell with all that. We need the truth. We need to know what's really going on. But due to the fact that they will slip this news out saying that Malia Davis is most likely dead during a weekend shows us games is being played. And we need to really find out what's really going on. You all let me know what you think about this situation. And at the same time, you know, when you're dealing with people for as a Cornell X situation, hire you somebody who's paid. Hire you somebody who's credible. And what I mean by paid has their own business, has their own uh law firm, has their own setup, and have real connection. Not somebody who just get up and march around and stuff and parade in front of black people and then we accept them as like, okay, they somebody that will help us because that's what we need. And then the fact they one of the ones using and lying and playing the game also. We can't have that. We need truth. We need transparency. We need these people to tell us where is Malia and what is really going on because somebody knows. Somebody knows. And don't everybody be mad at Darian Vince. If you're going to be mad at him, be mad at the mom also. And if you're going to be mad at, at the mom, be mad at CPS for protecting this woman and allowing Malia to go back to this hellhole because if they didn't, Malia would still be alive today. Let me know what you all think about this situation. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. And definitely share this video with your family and friends. A big shout out to everybody, every other blogger, YouTuber who have made a story regarding this. Because if we shed more light on this, people will think twice before they try to step their ass up and tell us a lie. That's all I got to say. I'm out.